Hey guys, Med School Easy here. We're going to talk about an ABG or arterial blood gas. This is, uh, you know, the main currency of your respiratory techs or RTs. Um, this is how you titrate event settings. This is how you tell what someone's lactate is uh, in, in a short uh, turnaround time. This is very useful for critical care medicine. In any case, an ABG is something that has to be drawn from arterial blood. You can get a VBG or venous blood gas, um, but your numbers won't be as accurate or reflect uh, the numbers that you're looking for um, for all types of vent management. In any case, uh, specifically the oxygen, uh, right, because your oxygen content is significantly different in arteries versus veins. Um, for an ABG, you're going to draw this off your radial art line if your patient is lucky enough to have one, which makes it a lot easier for your RTs and your nurses, or from a stick, you know, from sticking a uh, special ABG needle into the patient's um, artery. This will give you a printout with a lot of different information. You can even choose what type of ABG you want to run, but the five most basic numbers that you want, right, that when people report ABG numbers are pH, partial pressure, uh, partial pressure, excuse me, of CO2, partial pressure of oxygen, the bicarb, and then their O2 sat, right? And so people, when you listen to ICU rounds, this will be read off very quickly and they're not going to say, and the bicarb was 24. They're just going to say these numbers. So let's say the patient's morning ABG was 7.4, uh, was 40, 100, 26, and 98. And you got to know that when they say 98, they don't mean the CO2 is 98, right? You, you have to know this um, order. Uh, anyone that's working on ICU will, will be very fluent with this. Um, the normal values that I like to give people for these different, um, you know, ra the range, normal ranges of values for these different um, components. Um, I do 7.35 to 7.45 for pH. The nice thing about this, 3.5 and 4.5, and the reason why I do that instead of 4.4, 4, et cetera, is because your CO2, which is the very next number, Normal range, 35 to 45. So that's pretty easy, right? You just take away the seven. Um, normal ranges of oxygen, it depends on, on the patient, a lot of different things. Usually people want to say greater than 60, greater than 70. I'll say normal is 80 to like 80 to 100, 80 to 110. Uh, if we took an ABG on me right now, I think it'd be probably pretty close to 100, give or take 20. Um, so that's your normal value for PO2. Your normal range for bicarb is 22 to 26. You know, if their bicarb is too low, like if their bicarb is 20, for example, that would be a metabolic acidosis, right? Uh, <clears throat> and then um, for your saturation, it's the same deal as your uh, pulse oximetry. You want like, you know, greater than 92 or 95 to 100 or, you know, some, something in the high 90s or closer to 100 means that, um, you know, you have a high or normal oxygen saturation. So this is an introduction to ABG or arterial blood gas. Thanks.